what's up guys welcome back to a new video today we're going to be talking about three to four different fly patterns for diy on the shore in Riviera maya that i consider are the most effective ones and the flies that i bring with me on my cork necklace all the time and my fly box as well so we're gonna go through the fly patterns really quick to make this video super fast and super short so very simple fly patterns i'm gonna mention here is the clouser this is super basic it's all around salt water fly you can use as the bottom section wide and on the top any color you feel is the best for the day or for the area you're fishing you can you can attach red color tan orange blue any color you like so this fly put it in your fly box so it's a good good fly I'm gonna leave a card over here so you can watch another video about how to tie this one or you can look at another channel to the same fly pattern it's called Clouser, Clouser Mino and you can tie the fly so next fly for me one of my favorite fly patterns because I'm a DIYer I love to run on the beach I love to chase jacks I love to go like DIY tarpon like always chasing tarpons on the beach where the seaweed is and and Jack Creval is probably my favorite fish. So this fly is the perfect match for the Jack Creval, especially when you fish from the shore. You can see the jacks in the surf. And basically when you pop in water with this popper, the jacks are gonna just go out of the wave jumping and splashing the water and just striking this fly. It's amazing. Especially in the wash, when a jack that like surf down the beach, like the, and you get a like a wash of sand, you will see the jack right there, lost, blind. And when you're popping on this guy, they will sense that, and they will just go and strike that fly too. It helps with that. So my favorite fly pattern for Jack Rival because I like the action in the surface. This guy, Porker Lee. I gotta leave here a car you can click above here in the link and it will send you to another video where you can tie a bunch of different colors on this fly pattern and this is a good one my favorite fly pattern I think so here the next fly this is the winner the winner on um, the fishing style I do here this is my favorite you get to see it somewhere maybe it's out of focus there but this guy is the perfect like shrimp and fly pattern for bone fishing permit especially for permit I got so many permits in this little guy and it's so small so cute and permit loves it too so here very very important is the body have to create body with all the materials you're using and the first material you use to create a little bit bulky body so in the end you're just gonna use a little bit of um, dubbing wrapping your thread and you will create that bulky body easily so you have that like the front part like is rabbit hair you have a hot spot right there and the pair of eyes and very important the most important thing is the color of the legs this is like shrimping color rubber legs are the best as you can see in the pictures got so many and this little guy cut trigger fish as well and so many other species also jack rival i got this little guy so it's nice 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 pattern my favorite one you can see in my necklace you will see in the pictures always i have a bunch of those just hanging there so the last fly i will talk about is to have a streamer one streamer could make the difference to when the fish could be spooky with the with the popper you can use a streamer and my suggestion is to bring a tarpon toe tarpon toe what I like is that the big rounded head is it kind of sinks a bit and it pushes water and the fish can sense that easily could be from a tarpon toe to a left to deceiver or any EP like bait fish fly pattern will work okay for Jack Rebel any color they will strike whatever they move in front of them they like they just eating you know along the beach and whatever you move they were just gonna go and kill it so guys this is everything for this video 
I try to make it as short as possible. So I hope you like it. I hope you make a bunch of those guys and put it in your fly box for the next fishing trip. And I wish you the best. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Leave a comment down below, like telling whatever you want to tell. And let me know what's your favorite fly pattern for DIY in this area. What's the best fly pattern it works for you? So leave it in the comment below. Boy, fantastic to chat with you there. So see you guys and enjoy fishing. Bye.